hey guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here my name is amanda and today i am doing a chit chat get ready with me it is so informal i'm just talking about my life and nothing really and yeah i hope you guys are going to enjoy this video and if you want to see how i created this look please keep on watching and remember if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe by pressing the subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell next to it so that you will be notified every time i upload a video now let's jump straight to the video as you guys can see the hair has changed we don't have an afro anymore um i relaxed my hair or at least tried to relax my hair but Things just didn't go as I hoped. I got burned, guys. Yo, I think I have sensitive scalp because within five minutes, I was burning. Like, I literally had to go wash my hair. It was a disaster. I had sores at the back and like here, this side, like this side going to the back, I had sores because that's the part, I guess, that's where I got burned the most it was it was a disaster um i'm not sure if i'm gonna go back to relaxing i'm gonna try and see if i can grow it out like this it does need some trimming when i went to wash it last week the cow parts in came back thank goodness because i think i will just want to transition back to afro but a manageable afro not that thick afro that was so annoying so my hair has been stressing me out like really really stressing me out i didn't know what to do with it but i knew that i didn't not i did not want to have an afro because i didn't know what to do with it i'm not good at styling inuele, so i never know what to do with my hair if you follow me on instagram you would have seen my story where i do say that you know what I messed up <laughs> uh, my hair is not relaxed my hair is still an afro it is just simply stretched out and then I was thinking maybe I should have just used a blowout relaxer and stretch it out with some heat but I don't think basil is make sure I don't know I bought an eco styler I've never used eco styler before and i see a whole lot of people using eco styler and it's one of the best gels i always use got to be glue but it really really flakes but it flakes which is frustrating i hate how it flakes on my head i was using perfect touch and then i would go over with the got to be glue but perfect touch doesn't slick the hair guys it's good because it doesn't flake but it does not slick the hair i think i will cut my hair by the end of the year because i do miss short hair it's just that i was not ready now you know to cut my hair but i really really do miss my short hair and i wanna go back to short hair i'm just gonna take my brush and wow okay first impressions whoa this is this is good i don't know whether my mirror is lying to me or what but this is better than the perfect touch my neighbors are extending their house and they have this construction guys and i'm seeing though guys that's another reason why i just haven't been able to to sit down and film videos and i've been getting requests what are you doing and get ready with me we want a live update and all of that and i'm like guys i don't know what to tell you and now these neighbors are playing music and i don't know how i'm gonna talk to you guys yo uh uh what if I get copyrighted because of some music? Eng I was, I know was. And it's the first time you have music. It's always been 
the drilling and the cutting and the banging. But today of all days, but this is what all music. They were even playing Celine Dion. Okay, this is gonna give me a headache. You, I'm gonna dance. I've been watching a, a lot of high band tutorials, slick band tutorials, low band tutorials, which is something that I wanted to do today. I wanted to do a slow band, but not a slow, I mean a low band, but I just thought I should s stick to, to what I know, to what I've been doing and comfortable to do. Just to make sure that the back is also, you know. Now I'm gonna go in with the got to be to lay my edges. Once you put got to be glue, things just change. Things change. Oh. I'm gonna go in with my got to be spray just to tame these flyaways. to the hair later now i'm just gonna go off camera wash my hands because they're full of gel and also do my brow okay guys i'm back and i've taken off the the duke and this is the hair and i'm about to do the bun i am using this extension here from um i think it's darling <laughs> But it is what it is so i'm just gonna start by priming my face i'm just gonna spray my face with the hydration spray i hope i didn't mess up my edges because that's watery i just want to address this question that i'm been getting you know on instagram and here as well some of you guys have asked me um you asked me when am i going back to joburg and some ask am i planning on going back to joburg and the answer is i don't know if i want to go back to joburg like not that i don't want to but it's not like I have to go back to Joburg. I want to go back to Joburg. I don't mind moving anywhere. Well, as long as it's Gauteng or Western Cape. I wouldn't mind Oklala A, Western Cape, maybe Cape Town or Kems Bay. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind. But Joburg for me, it's not like, oh, I, I, I have to go back to Joburg or it's, it's not a priority for me to move back to Joburg um and i haven't done a live update since my last huge announcement <laughs> or my last uh, live update where i talked about my move from joburg to kzn back home and the change was not was not great and i didn't feel like talking about it i still don't feel like talking about it but yes things are much better this year i've been here for a year now not really a year i'd say nine months because uh last year september i moved to uh my grandmother's house so i was staying with my grandmother and my cousins for for three months i came back january 
or on the 31st of December. <laughs> That's when I um, I came back. So I've been here since the 31st of December. And this year things are different than they were last year. Last year things were... Things were hectic. Things were crazy. I was... Ooh, I was so unhappy because of the family drama that I did not expect to find because I wasn't told the whole truth. I didn't like the situation that I found. Actually, I didn't find it at that time. I'd say it was sort of hidden for for some time. And then when I had settled in, it was like, okay, I'm staying here. And then there was this huge bomb dropped on me. And adjusting to that was was something else i did try to move but hey this is a small town right i always say that and i'm sure you guys are tired of me always saying this is a small town but this is a small town where you don't really have so many options when it comes to when it comes to things so last day i tried to find a place to stay because i was like i can't stay in this situation it was driving me mad and it was not good for my mental health i had to see a doctor because of what was going on you know and the doctor was like you're not gonna be okay unless if your situation you you such why can't i speak unless if your situation changes and mentally i wasn't okay and i was like okay in order for me to be okay and in order for me to be okay for my son i need to remove myself from this situation i try to remove myself from the situation but this town is full of racist people like the people in the sun are racist i found a place that i liked it was a three bedroom beautiful exactly what i was looking for outside it looked creepy but inside it was newly renovated I was so i called the lady uh that same day i call her and i'm like okay i got my paperwork ready please give me your email address i need to send the things she did not pick up the phone she did not reply to my email to my um to my sms i tried and i tried and i tried and i was just i was like you know what let me just give up let me um try and find other other places i went to four different estate agents and none of them helped me and it wasn't planned to move to um to my grandmother's i was just i was just going there for visits i was just going there for a week but i don't know i was staying there there was that peace peace that i was looking for so i decided i'm gonna stay at my grandmother's and i came back in i took most of my things and i went and i stayed in my grandmother's and i think it it was what i needed i needed to remove myself from the situation that was not good for me okay and now moving back to the question of am i gonna do i want to move back to your work if an opportunity comes yes i will i i'm not against moving to Joburg, but it's not like i just want to move back to Joburg. i can move anywhere as long as there's gonna be something sending me there if i find a job in Joburg, yes i am looking for a job now it's just that you guys know how things are in sa it's really really hard to find work but um the reason why i started looking for work again is because campaigns are not coming and um i need money as you all know i'm a mother not just a mother i'm a single mother so it's getting quite expensive for me and hard financially to take care of of my son by myself so yeah um as much as i hate corporates i hate being in 17 having to work for someone else i've been enjoying this it's been good for me but now i have to be to be real and i need money okay i was okay financially last year things were looking well i was getting campaigns campaigns that pay me very very well but this year it's like yeah you know and i am turning down a whole lot of 
work or campaigns because they don't want to pay i don't know where people get brands that pay but they don't want to pay and i feel like i work hard for me to just get it to get a lousy pay and people promise to pay me exposure it's like am i gonna eat exposure i'm not gonna put in hours and hours of work for exposure and the disappointing part is these are big brands that are coming and just offering you peanuts it's like why are you guys being disrespectful so because of that i'm like when you look at what you get offered it's like okay let me be real with myself there's no way i can survive on this so um i'll still continue doing it but I need a job last year i gained a lot of weight i gained over seven kgs over six kgs and i was not happy when i looked at myself in the mirror this year i was like this can't be me and when i came back and most of my clothes didn't even go up my hips i was like i have to make some some changes and i did and i've lost the weight i'm back to the weight that i was last year which is which is great and now i'm just maintaining but I still want to lose um, five or, yeah, let's just start, let's just lose five and see. But the reason why I am maintaining this weight is I'm doing this on purpose. It's because I don't want to put too much pressure on myself and on this weight thing. I'm taking my time with it. I'm taking my time with it so that I don't fail and so i'm just happy with the way that i'm eating as long as i'm eating within my calories sometimes i don't even count calories um i just eat what i want to eat but it's something that i've made i make if i want a burger i make it i have oven baked fries i put that in the oven we make you know if i want nuggets um I steal all its nuggets. I get a lot of questions about my weight on Instagram. How, how to lose weight? How have you lost weight? Or how do you maintain and all of that? And I'm not ready to share it, guys. Um, I will share once I reach my weight or my goal weight. If, oh, I'm mm, I don't think I should share. I think I should just keep doing what i'm doing it's 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 working it's working and if i crave something like if i crave ice cream i still have my ice cream you know um i'm just very this year i'm very intentional about things and how i react to things as well things are not all rosy rosy things are not all perfect and stuff and now the fact that campaigns aren't coming another stress but because of what I went through the past two years, um, I am trying to pull my, I, I try each and every day to pull myself out of a dark place. And I'm just trying to do things that are making me happy and not do things to please people or to please my family, which is something that I think I was doing. And I was also feeling like I don't know how I was feeling. Maybe I was sort of feeling like because I moved back home, I sort of owed them something. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, as much as I was not paying rent, even now, I feel like I'm paying rent with my mental health. You know, when you stay at home and you're not paying rent, it's not that you're not paying rent. You're paying rent with your mental health, and which is more expensive than demand. Trust me. So that was the problem that I have. But since I'm paying rent with my mental health i try to look after myself a bit more something happened to me last month in april yo hey guys but i'm not gonna talk about it on this video i'm gonna do a story time and tell you guys all about it i hope the story time is not gonna be boring and it's not gonna be long i i feel like it should be just a dedicated video if there's time after this video i'm gonna sit down and do that story time if not i'll do it some other time I will just let you know, man, Jay, it's about I'm a daughter. Hey, fear men, guys. 
sabi ndota. Guys, I'm still single, hey? I'm still very much single. Um, I don't think I'm ready for umcholo. I'm funjuk trapo umcholo. I'm angiko lapo. And who am I gonna date in this town? Honestly, I'm not looking because I've, I've since then I'm not planning on staying here forever. I don't think I should look for for indoor yeah so it's all right um on instagram when i'm bored at night i'll go on my dms if there's something interesting i will reply right so there was a guy i think last week uh i just decided to re reply or respond to his dm and then he asked for my number he asked he said let's chat on whatsapp i was like no it's fine we can chat here i mean i am not a fan of whatsapp guys not a fan so i was like ah you know and sometimes really i end up ignoring um ama whatsapp swami so like ah no it's fine we can just continue chatting here and then yesterday he asked for my number i was like what the heck let me give it to him i give it to him and then he sends me my post right he shares my post from from my i think from my instagram and he shares it um i'm gonna put up that post and show you what he he thingy he sent me and he's like open for me open for you what the it's like i love you and um sends me heart emojis i'm like huh he's like i mean i love you you're beautiful okay and like what should i open it's like your body I was like, okay, you're disgusting. You're sick. And it's like, I don't understand. It's like, if you thought I was going to find that flattering, I don't. Why that picture specifically? And what does open your body mean? I was so disgusted. Honestly, I was so disgusted. That's just, that's a block. You're going to, you're going to get a block. I don't know. Just because I'm wearing just a, a top or I'm just wearing a, a short skirt on Instagram, doesn't mean that I'm inviting you to do something. I'm just sharing content. I'm just sharing something that I feel good about or hey bo. That's like that's another thing that I just don't want to meet guys on Instagram because what you see on Instagram it's not me. Okay? Not that it's not me, but there's Amanda underscore TM. And there's Amanda, the person, which I think you get more here on, on YouTube than you get on, on Instagram. When you see me on my timeline, I'm not always, how's this nose contour? I'm not always like that. So please. Okay. The spray is uh, ruining my edges. And I hate doing edges after my makeup. Um, if you didn't watch my vlog, the vlog that I put up yesterday or the last vlog, then you, or maybe if you didn't watch up until, I don't know, you didn't get to the part where I mentioned that I don't have a laptop anymore. Yo, yes, it. I don't have a laptop anymore. I don't feel like creating content anymore because of that. But i love creating content what do i mean i don't feel like creating content anymore because i love creating content you know i think i don't know how to apply blush where should it go should it come up to here so while I'm still dealing with that, guys, yo, I'm honestly just hurt by not having my laptop. And I'm not gonna buy a new laptop. I'd rather buy a new camera. When I buy a laptop, it will be to upgrade to a MacBook because these laptops, uh -uh. I bought that HP in 2019 and within two months, 
it gave me issues it's been giving me issues and i'm tired of that but i am editing on my phone which is um i it's the editing is basic it's basic it's just cut and keep what you want and take and delete what you don't want there is no relying on post-production now you know there's no relying on editing which was something that sometimes when i mess up i'll be like i'll fix that when i edit you know but now um with the phone i don't it's not as advanced as obviously the software on your on your on your laptop um so i have to when i shoot content now i have to shoot content as if i'm editing which sometimes i would do but on my lazy days i'll be like we will fix this post production you know um like i say but now I, guys it's it's okay it's 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 not that bad it's not something that i'm used to but it's not that bad i mean i did edit a, a whole vlog which had so many so many clips but uh, i managed to edit it there are so many things that i can't do but um I hope you guys are still going to just appreciate the content that i'm gonna be be giving you because i don't want to stop giving you content as frustrated as i am about not like you know about things not going the way that i want them to go um i can't just give up i'm using my brush from shein i showed on my vlog yesterday I'm surprised that it's dry because I washed it just before sitting down. I'm so, so excited about my outfit that I'm going to wear after this. But it does not fit me the way that I want it to fit. And I think if I buy a bigger size, it's going to be too big. I don't know. I'm just going to try and um, use a pin. And when I'm done, I'm gonna show you guys my outfit, but I'm gonna show you the pictures because uh, I don't think you're gonna be able to see the outfit. I'm starting to enjoy taking Instagram pictures again. I was not feeling it for, for some time. I wasn't feeling creating content, you know, beauty content, fashion content vlogs yes but when it just came to uh, looking pretty putting on makeup having to pose it was just like oh i'm tired of this i don't want to i don't want to do this anymore like uh, which is why like my instagram is like but guys let's be honest besides me not feeling like taking instagram pictures instagram has been boring like there's just something about the app that is just like boring and a lot of people are feeling like that a lot of people have stopped creating content which is the reason why i need to get a job because it's like what is happening <laughs> what's happening okay, like guys i've been surviving uh on just content creation so now it's like eh, hey, sissy if you're feeling this way and a lot of people are feeling this way who's all done so find them savings but hey in south africa guys i don't want to lie the job market is just what did i just do the job market is so i wonder what some savings we are told and sometimes i just like get demotivated to apply because there's nothing we are almost done with this face just cleaning my lips i forgot to highlight here Guys, I don't even remember what I was talking about. I had to do everything else off camera because I'm 
not sure if can you can hear the drilling outside and the banging outside there's music as well <sighs> so yeah i don't even remember what we were talking about i had to do things off camera because I didn't wanna, I mean, sit here and wait for them to finish. They're not gonna finish. I think they're gonna finish at five. It's like half past two now. And I have to go and fetch Ollie at four. So, I am going in with my favor lip thingy for autumn, for winter. This is perfect. It's uh, this Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in the shade 160 Mover. Ah, look at that. This is my go-to in autumn and in winter. It takes time to like set and dry. But once it's dry, it's dry baby. fix my brows they are all powdery okay guys let me go off camera change and then i'll come back and show you the final look when i all dressed up and zhuzhed up but i'm loving the look very very simple this is the final look i look like a business woman like i really love this i'm not sure if you guys are gonna be able to see but this is like a blazer dress in love with it it's big love but it's longer panty it is tight i'm so so in love with this i'm sad that it doesn't fit me the way that it should uh but yeah i'm loving it i'm loving the hair the hairstyle turned out to be to be okay i'm happy with it the hair is laid and the gel is taking time to actually dry it, it's really taking its precious time it's not that dry or maybe it doesn't dry completely um i don't know the edges are laid so yeah everything is looking proper and i hope you guys enjoyed this chatty get ready with me i don't even remember what i was saying what i what i spoke about it was just all over the place but i hope you guys enjoyed it and i am gonna try and do this more often i honestly didn't know that you guys wanted to see me do my makeup and you wanted to hear what i you know just interested in what i have to say about my life um i didn't think so i'm happy to know that some of you guys are interested in these videos because uh, trust me this is nice just to sit down and talk to you guys do my face it is actually nice i enjoy it and yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below leave suggestions down below let me know what you, what you would like to see on my channel besides vlogs just let me know what else you would love to see on my channel obviously the natural hair is gone so no more natural hair videos we can still try and do more hair videos i think and yeah subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and i will catch you guys in my next video bye